Hey guys, welcome back to The Lanes. I'm Mr. Mitch, this is Mrs. Lane. And uh, today we're going to share a few thoughts on our trip to Rarotonga because lots of people have been asking us where to stay, what to do, what, and all those sort of things. So in this video, we hope to cover those for you. Fun fact, this one right here was in Mummy's tummy when we were over in the Cook Islands. Also, where the hell do you get Wi-Fi in Rarotonga? Okay, let's go. So the top three things that we have for you to try or do while you're in Rarotonga. First of all is the buggy tour. Look up Raro buggy tours. They look absolutely fantastic. Number two, number two for you to try. It's pretty much a must. You got the lagoon. The lagoon's the major attraction in Rarotonga, so get out on a lagoon tour. And the number one attraction, the number one thing to do that we recommend in Rarotonga. Splash the cash, book the trip, it's the trip of a lifetime, and go to Arataki. Do the day trip, they'll pick you up in the morning from your hotel, they'll drop you off about five o'clock, but Arataki has the most beautiful lagoon you will find anywhere in the world. We'll swam, swam in a lot of water, but this has to be the clearest. There's plenty of fish, my favorite part, jumping off the pontoon into the clearest of water, uh, you just can't beat it. So, splash the cash, jump on the Air Rarotonga, and go to Arataki. What we came to the Cook Islands for. The beautiful clear waters and no crowds, so it's living up to expectations at the moment. So many activities and it's on a much, much better beach, so it's absolutely beautiful. And tied some paddle boards and we're going out for a little bit of a flat. So beautiful, you probably can't see but there's about a thousand fish down there. We're at the Mooring Fish Cafe, just outside of Muri, and they're supposed to have the best fish sandwiches, so Carter's made a friend. I just watched that boy pulling a marlin. He's no older than Carter. We were recommended to come here for the uh, Mahi Fish Burger, thought I'd give it a whirl, and it's, it's amazing. It's, it's right up there, I'd put that slightly around the Big Mac category, it's right up there mate. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about getting around the island. The island is kind of roundish and it has one road that goes all the way around. It's about 40 k's an hour is the maximum speed limit, but you do need a car because if you're traveling with children, you want to be able to just get up and go when it suits you. Really? Do you want to tell them about Rarotonga and how we got around? 
Okay. So yeah, so hire a car because you don't want to be stuck trying to get a scooter because you need to get a license to get a scooter. So you have to go to the police station and do all this like stuff. So if you get in late at night, you want to have that car pre-booked and someone will just rock up and give you the keys and tell you to head over to the car park and the car will be unlocked and ready to go literally. So you could take anyone's car. Cars are great. You got air con. It's a big deal. Huge, huge benefit when you're in the islands because it's so hot. So we recommend a car. Um, we went through police checkpoints with Carter on my lap and they were like, hey, hey. So we were like, oh, sweet ass. The car seat is absolutely useless. So we're taking matters into our own, own hands literally here. So safer for me with my massive spaghetti arms just to hold on to it. So let me tell you a little story about our car. We get in at 12 o'clock at night and we meet the lady from the car hire place who says, your keys in the car and your keys under the mat. So go and find it. So off we trot, we go and find our car, we find it and we look under the mat and there's no key. So we go back and try and find the lady and she says, oh, sorry, we must have forgot about the key. And she just gives us her car key. and says, you can just take my car. So off we go in her car. Anyway, Raratonga. All right, it's Tuesday night. We're at the uh, Muri Night Markets and they are going off <laughs> like a frog in a sock or me on a first date. But uh, take a look at them. As advertised, we've got six stalls. Cook Island food, Cook Island food or sausage sizzle? So which would you prefer? Let's, uh, let's try the local cuisine. Let's get into it. The local cuisine is fruit salad on a banana leaf. We're paying around 100 bucks a night, which seems to be standard. It's not the bottom, but it's definitely not the top. The catch with the room is we've got um, no TV, no Wi-Fi, Top it off, one ply toilet paper. Hold on for selfie. Good boy, hold it. Smile. Smile. Good boy. <laughs> Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi. Can you get the Wi-Fi in Rarotonga? Yes, you can get Wi-Fi, but it's about $30 a gigabyte because there's only one company that do provide that service. So we'd say, no, the reception's not great anyway. Spend time with your family, soak up the sun, get in the lagoon and have a great time. Uh, global roaming, no, that's not even a thing in Rarotonga yet, so don't even bother searching for global roaming. You're gonna to have to put your phone away. Just use it as a camera. Okay, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe below, leave comments, and uh, on to the next vacay for the lanes.